Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to take a look at the Siberia OS like version 1.1, which is based on Android 9.0.5 for our Redmi Note 5 Pro or the Redmi Note 5 AI, which is a dual camera variant. So yeah, this is the Siberia version 1.1, and I've used this like for two days, but uh, from 100 to uh, like four or five percent, I have just used it for one time. Like today, I didn't use it like much. Only just took one two calls. So yeah. Let's start with it. So guys, the Siberia version 1.1, which is based on Android Pie, is an AOSP based ROM. Yeah, not lineage, just to make it clear. And we have this quick step launcher with some additions of column and rows. So you can just use this default or just change it. You have some options up to seven. Yeah, also seven and yeah. So yeah, it's not that like you have got more options over than that. Now let's just go into settings. Okay, first take a look at the app drawer. We get these apps like ASP based and not much bloating is here. So it's fully de bloated. Then you have this MIUI camera as well as Google camera. So we get here two camera apps. Let's go into the settings then go into system into about phone. Here as you can see Android 9 version, Siberia version 1.1 build date is September 16. Uh, this is September patch dot 154. It's an old build like the new one isn't released anymore But yeah, I was like reviewing this so I thought it's okay, but the battery is also good. Okay. It's not that bad, but yeah And this is Siberia. Yeah, all Android based stuff all different good. custom ROMs have different different customization It's same but some has more some is less. Let's see what Siberia has and we have here minimum customization system we have this tweaks all buttons or pop-ups sound settings and dialer settings then we have this panel status bar navigation bar and notification then we have the lock screen stuff shortcuts and that and battery settings it's about the battery charging light also let's go into the display and going into advanced we have here the option of system theme and to your system you have theme you can set light dark or black and you know, ascent color you can choose one of these colors so I've chosen this red color. So let's turn to this. Okay, so it takes some time, but yeah, it works really. Let's change the color to this one. This is maybe tomato red. Yeah, it just gets default and then goes to the other color. So it's okay. It is initial and it has some box, but yeah, it's really good. Let's talk usage. about the battery life. I have used this like for two days to say it was on idle usage for today, but yeah, yesterday I used it fully. And here you can see the graph, uh, as you can see clearly uh, from this to this, it was 100 to 5 or 4 percent. I got 7 hours 58 minutes of screen on time, that was good. Like I was playing PUBG, having some watching media and all stuff. Uh, you can see YouTube, ALT, Palaji. This is a media streaming app. And then this is today the idle battery drain. But yeah, it's not that much. It's 24 hours. And I've used it also here playing PUBG. So that direct line. So yeah, you can take a look. Battery life is really good. Not that bad. Also, it's using the one, one, like the plus kernel. So that's really well. And guys, uh, that's it for the review. Uh, I don't think so. We need an installation video separately because it's like every other round just wipe system data cage and flash the uh, rom and g app so it's easy boot up and set it up by your device and if you like the rom just go through it and then update it and yeah if you want another you can choose another rom so yeah that's it for the video if you guys really like this video press the like button if not press the dislike button feedback will be in the comment section and also subscribe my youtube channel for more such videos on the redmi note 5 pro and yep bye bye i'll see you guys in the next video Till then you can check out more of my videos on the redmi note 5 pro here in the i button and bye bye see you guys in the next one bye, -bye.